All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel, Carlos's boating adventure. I will change it in a minute or some other day. So I organized all my tools and everything. I'm gonna show you an update of the Bayliner real quick and the things I've done and the things that have broken. The uh, trim works on the motor, by the way. All right. It's always been working, but it broke on the steering and I changed the relays. Um, I've been troubleshooting this for a while. I changed the relays. Let me show you. I'm gonna flip the camo around and show you and everything I did. So hold on. All right, so I changed these two relays. This is not it. All right, so I learned that the green and blue wire is for up and down, and of course the red is power. All right, everything's working. Solenoid is working, but this is mainly for the starter, but it's also connected to the uh, trim, which is weird. I thought it was gonna be two separate, separate solenoids. Um, anyways, so I'm like troubleshooting. I'm tracing all these wires. I'm tracing it all the way. I cannot find, I'm like, okay, I'm frustrated. It has to be the switch, it has to be the switch. So let's go up in the boat real quick. All right, yes, I know it's still a mess. So you see, nothing. You can't even hear it, nothing. All right, so what's going on? I traced the wires and I found out that Corrosion sucks. This was completely loose. This is the power wire for the trim. And remember when I told you green and blue? That's for up and down. So I gotta recut that, resplice that, redo everything, and it should work. Hopefully. I haven't tried it yet. And also, this is the update of the dash. Remember in my last video that I did? Wait, I guess that was on the whole time. Steering wheel, new steering wheel's on the way. Uh, the floor, I am gonna redo the floor, and then the wood under the seats. That was a little bit more secure. Getting the speakers, getting the bench done. Uh, I did put a new battery in here. New battery, new battery tray. Bolted the battery tray to the boat. That way it doesn't dance around. And also, all right, I cleaned the fuel tank. Got a new sending unit. That works freaking great. Uh, the bilge pump works. I just need to get a new hose. And I also put a fuel filter like I promised. Um, I wanted a clear one that way I could see how the fuel looks like on the inside. I did put a little bit of oil in the fuel because I don't know if the fuel pump works for that tank. Uh, I have to run it for a while and see if it goes down. I'd rather have a little bit extra fuel than not enough fuel. And yeah, so right now let's take a focus on that because literally if I could fix the trim, maybe tomorrow I could put it on the water and just test it out. I can't go too far because... You know, it's an older boat and I wanted it to be 110% done. But let's focus on that right now. Uh, that's going to be my main concern for today. So I'm going to go ahead and splice it, cut it and all and do all that. So and hopefully some, this helps somebody out when the trim doesn't go up and down. Check for corrosion. Corrosion sucks. All right. So if it's not the relays, it's not any of the fuses or anything like that. Check your connections. And it's not the switches. There is a way to check if the switch is bad. But I'm going to fix that first. All right, stay tuned. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I fixed the trim. So, long story short, I just had to, re I had to rewire it. There's, from the power cable that goes to the trim all the way down to the motor, there's a bad connection. It's not gaining power. I checked every single thing. I even checked the main wire. I have checked everything. I could not get it. Like, I could not find it at all. So, um, what I did, I just rewired it. So I know the only thing I was missing here was power. So I, underneath the console right here, I have a fuse box and there's two empty slots. So there was a five amp one and then a 10 amp, 15 amp one, which the 15 amp, I might change it to a 10 amp. So I got new wire, put it on there and I connected it in here. And guess what? got it to work it works great um again i could not figure out where the actual problem was like if i'm telling you when i checked everything i checked everything here let me even walk with you so i don't know if you guys whoever has any of these boats let me know but literally i took all these wires off i took this tank to look at the wires out uh the only thing that's behind the tank is the stator wires uh this solenoid is for this. Uh, apparently the relays do act like a solenoid. And literally I took the connections out. I took the main wire out. 
that's good there's no corrosion here i literally triple checked this one everything works so unless there's a cut i'm guessing there's a cut somewhere maybe a mouse or something cut in between all the way in here but literally i have to take all the whole wiring uh harness out and just check and see where it's not getting power i know it's not getting power around there and then i think back here so it's between here and here so to make life easy what i just did is and it's i literally used a short wire is fuse box to control panel right there to the control switch and that is it boys that is it like i'm sweating so anyways if this helped anybody out if you can't figure it out you could actually do it that way as long as your blue what was it blue and green wires connected to the motor itself it will go up and down so and it relieves a whole bunch of headache and you know if it ever goes bad you know where to check just check the fuses and it's done steering wheel is freaking ugly i can't wait to get the new one <laughs> uh so tomorrow i might put it on the water since the trim works now i got gas in it everything's good and yeah um stay tuned for the next video give me a like uh comment down below if you know you know what the problem was and yeah and i'll see you guys on part five this was part four trim gas sending unit uh battery all that's done in part four so i know i do a lot of behind the scene work but yeah so thanks for watching guys bye